Here at the city, we're all about helping you as a church realize your mission. We're a web-based platform that helps you connect, grow, and lead your entire church community. We've got a growing base of customers and we get a lot of input around problems that you're facing. And one of those areas has been the children's ministry. We took a look at this problem and we realized that the children's ministry is more than just about trying to check kids into the classes on a Sunday. It's actually about engaging with the kids and their parents as well. Wouldn't it be great if you had a visitor who came to your church for the first time on a Sunday to go through that process and then be able to receive a communication from your ministry leaders after the day is done. Imagine if you could also invite those parents into a group on the city where they could engage with other parents of kids of the same age all the way through the week. Now that would be real community and we can do that here on the city so let me show you how. I want to show you just how easy it is to set up a kiosk for use in the children's ministry using the city. So here we go. The first thing I need to do is from this drop down, select which campus I'm at. If you're a multi-campus church, we allow you to pick the place this uh, check-in process is going to be taking place and then choose a date so that you can actually see which events or which services are happening at this campus on this date. I can then pick the event. I've got a 9 a.m. service and an 11 a.m. service that have been set up and I can click on start and we're done. There you go. This kiosk is now ready to use for check-in on this particular Sunday. Let's look at the first time experience for a visitor coming to your church to use the children's ministry. Here we have the kiosk for the city children's ministry and I'm going to go and click on I am new to Grace Kids. I'm also obviously not a city user as a first time visitor so I'm going to click on that button there and now I can go and input my first name and my last name, my email address and my phone number. Click on next. What I get to do now is take a card out of my wallet that has a barcode on the back of it. You can use any card with any barcode and just scan that underneath the scanner. That barcode is now associated with my profile. I can scan additional cards or just say done with barcodes. And now I go and add my kids onto my profile. Dora is my daughter and obviously a girl. She was born in 2009. She's going to be in the nursery. She's allergic to peanuts. And I'm her parent. I could add more children or just click on done. Now that we're done setting up my profile and my daughter's profile, I can just click to check her in. I could add additional instructions for the day if I chose to or just finish the check-in. And now what will happen is I will get a label printed out, one for myself and one for Dora. And I am done and can go off to the service. Let's take a look at what the fast track process looks like for somebody who attends your church every single week and who's already registered on the system. I've got my barcode here. I'm going to wave that under the barcode scanner. The city comes back and gives the list of my children. I'm just checking Gunnar in today. I'm going to press finish check-in. My label is already printing out. I can say I'm done. Take my labels from the printer and I'm off to the service. One of the things the children's ministry module gives you access to is an administrative back end where your leaders can go and get important information that will help you run your children's ministry program, like finding information on classes or in volunteer leaders who are helping on a Sunday or information on some of the kids that might be checked into those classes. Let's say that little Gunnar is not feeling too well today and we need to get hold of his parents so they can come and fetch him. I can grab the label off of Gunnar's back and very easily go and choose to scan a barcode. And Gunnar's information comes up along with the names of his parents, Ivan and Sonia, and that will enable me to go and get hold of them so they can fetch him.
One of the great benefits of the city's children's ministry module is that it's not just a robust children's check-in system. It also provides a fantastic way to connect with people who are coming to your children's ministry, both the children and the parents. Let's take that example of the first-time visitor coming to your church. They've gone through the check-in process, they've picked up their kids, they've gone home for the day, and now perhaps you want to go and drive some communication out to them to tell them what happened during the classes today. In the city's administrative back end here, I've got the ability to actually go and create an email that's going to go out to people who registered as first-time parents in the ministry and who are not a part of the city, who are not on the city, but did provide an email address for us. All right. So here we have the title and the body copy for our email. I'm going to click on Create, and then I'm going to Preview and Send that. Now, you will see that we've actually added to that little insert on today's lesson some standard global copy uh, that's appropriate for either new parents, or if I click on this other link, a slightly different email that will be generated for regular parents who are also not on the city. And so two slightly different customized emails depending on who this is going to that. Now I can just say send all and my email has gone out to those parents. It will also include a link back to the city asking people to sign up onto the city, create a profile so they can join with other parents of kids in our online community. Once I've clicked on the link in that email, it will take me to the city where I can fill in my profile information and I'll also be joined into this group called Grace Kids, which is our overall children's ministry group. I'll also be joined into subgroups, one group for each of the children that I've got registered into the children's ministry, and in those groups I can interact with parents of kids the same age. If I click on Start Something, I can create content, topics, events, prayers, needs, and even upload photos into a photo album. You will see at the top of my stream for this group is the post that I made recently, today's lesson. And inside of that is the text that was created for that email that also went out to all the offline parents that are now part of the children's ministry. Children's ministry is not just about checking kids in on a Sunday. It's about engaging both the kids and the parents together as part of your church community. We're really excited about what we've done here. We hope that you're going to be too.